Tonight for dinner, Kevin and I are having this. This is a pineapple pecan cheese bread. We did a recipe video of this. It is awesome. So we, this is what you can see what we tried during the review where the hunks are gone. Uh, but we're going to eat this tonight for dinner uh, and we're going to eat it with Ritz crackers. That's what we tried it with during the review and it's just awesome stuff. So hopefully if you missed that video, you'll check it out. Today for lunch, I'm gonna have an egg sandwich. I just toasted two slices of 35 calorie bread and I have two eggs. This is the salt-free dash and I sprinkled some of that on there and that's it. This will be uh, my lunch for today. We are at Texas Roadhouse and we have lots of rolls and they have this butter. It's really good, it has cinnamon in it. Kevin got a side salad with his meal, a house salad, and then I got a house salad with my meal, and we each got our own dressings that we like, and then Kevin got a baked potato and a steak and ribs, and butter, sour cream on his baked potato. Ashley got a baked potato with double butter, a steak, and a side of corn, and then I got fried chicken with fries and some barbecue sauce. Today, I'm going to be making some oatmeal. I haven't had oatmeal in a while so this is just plain unflavored oatmeal it does have the directions on the package i'm going to be using the microwave directions which it says add two-thirds cup of water and stir microwave uncovered on high for one to two minutes or until the oatmeal begins to thicken so I have my two-thirds cup water. I only let my oatmeal cook for one minute because I like a, um, I would rather have a little bit more liquid in it. Now Kevin, um, Kevin likes his thicker. I just don't. Um, so I'm going to be trying this Mateo's. This is the thin caramel and it is zero sugar, sugar free, zero calorie. This is barista style coffee syrups, but I'm going to be using it in my oatmeal and I figured I would um, try a, a tablespoon of it and see, oh, I see, it has a little tab on it. I thought I would try a tablespoon of it and t see if a tablespoon was enough. It does have a little tab on it that you pull. And that comes off. And then you can open it. So normally with my oatmeal, a lot of times I'll use, it also has a cover. I would use a sweetener packet. Uh, but since I'm using this, this will act as my sweetener. And hopefully this won't be too much. It might be. <laughs> so this is zero calories, zero fat, zero cholesterol. It has 25 milligrams of sodium, zero carbs, zero protein. The main ingredient is water, but then of course you have natural and artificial flavor, caramel color. Oh, these are made in Canada. The uh, www.mateoscoffee.com manufactured for Sol, I can't pronounce the name. They are in uh, Quebec, Canada, made in Canada. Okay, let's try this. I may have put way too much and it may be too hot too. Normally when I use a sweetener packet, um, I'll sprinkle just a little bit. I don't dump the whole thing. I'll sprinkle just a little bit and then I'll eat in that area. And then when that layer is gone, I'll sprinkle more of the sweetener packet and I'll make it last throughout the whole bowl. But sometimes it's a barely, barely enough thing.
I'm glad I used a tablespoon. Uh, when I saw it, I was really afraid because it smells strong. I was afraid it was going to be too much, and it's not. Um, it's actually, I think, going to be the perfect amount uh, for this bowl of oatmeal. So now I bought and I bought two other flavors to try. I wanted to try this one first because it seemed like the plainest of the three that I bought. But a lot of people uh, said that they. Um, uh, they don't use this in coffee. I thought because it said coffee that most people put it in their coffee. But because I drink flavored coffees already, I don't ha I don't have any need to put it in coffee. It would be redundant and probably wouldn't be the best flavor either. I would think. But um, some people told me that uh, they also flavor water. That people flavor water with these, which I never even thought about. What was funny though, our daughter Ashley has been on an oatmeal kick. She's been eating a lot of oatmeal lately. So she doesn't buy this in the packet though. She buys Quaker oats in the container. And she's been making hers with milk. She adds milk to it. And she'll add a little bit of milk and a little bit of water, I think. And then she'll put it in the microwave and when it comes out, she puts a splash of vanilla, and then she puts some granola on top. Well, I was watching an old grocery haul of ours, our own grocery haul, because sometimes I think it's fun to watch grocery hauls and look back and see things that groceries that were sold even 10 years ago that aren't sold today. And I happened to be watching an old grocery haul, and I had bought oatmeal and I had bought these flavorings and I had forgotten all about it. I forgot that for a while there I was using these sweeteners uh, flavorings in my oatmeal and so when Ashley showed me she said that she uses just regular vanilla uh, like that you would use for cooking um, I called her and I said I forgot all about this. I said I forgot that I had bought these flavorings they're, they're not even any calories or anything like that, and you can get all kinds of flavors. So she was like, oh, I never even thought about that. I really like oatmeal though. And I even like oatmeal, like raw oatmeal. Like if I do buy Quaker oats to make oatmeal cookies, I can eat by the spoonfuls the oatmeal mixed with the brown sugar and the egg and the um, regular sugar, all those raw ingredients. I love that. Well, this is a winner, and I'll tell you why. Since I just used a tablespoon, it doesn't taste really artificial. It, it's not overpowering at all. It just adds a nice, pleasant sweetness. Now, if I wanted more of that actual caramel flavor to come through, I would have to add more. I would need more than the tablespoon to get that strong caramel flavor. But as it is right now, it just adds a sweetness to it, which is enough for me. I like that. I'm, I'm comfortable with that, and it's good. So this flavor is a winner. Um, like I said, I have two other flavors. I do plan on uh, trying those in this video as well. Um, I won't go through making the oatmeal and all that stuff with you. I'll just sit at the table and I'll show you the flavor and I'll tell you what it tastes like or whether I like it or not. Um, I'm going to save the one that I'm thinking will be the best for last, but it may not be. I might be completely surprised. I will tell you... Uh, an excellent place to buy these is um, Home Goods, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. That's a good place to find these. The plastic bottles, this is a plastic bottle, was $4.99. So I bought two of these. 
The last one I plan to try for you in this video was more expensive and I'll try to remember to tell you because it's an actual glass bottle and it's a, I think a more well-known brand. It's the Tarani. I'm looking at it over on the counter. It's the Tarani brand and it was more expensive, uh, but this is only five bucks and it'll probably last me forever. There's no telling. I mean, this is 33.8 ounces, fluid ounces, so a, a liter. Uh, so this is a lot. So anyway, this was very successful. I like it. Um, if you have any other uses for these syrups, feel free to leave a comment because um, I always like hearing your ideas. Today I am going to be trying the Mateos. This is the English toffee and I'm very excited about this one. Um, I love English toffee. I hope that it really tastes like English toffee. I'm not gonna be afraid to get the whole tablespoon because that was the part. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, that smells incredible. It really does smell incredible. Okay, it's like so super, super, super sweet. Yeah. I can't wait to try this. I hope it doesn't taste artificial. Okay. It's probably going to be really hot. Yesterday, it's so funny because it got up to like 70 degrees yesterday. And today, I don't know what the temperature is right now. Hold on. I, I start this conversation and then I can't. Oh. I wish to, I'm shocked. It literally says it's 72 right now. Could that be true? Okay, what's funny is it was warm in the house yesterday. So I had a short sleeve shirt on. I don't know if I did for the trying the oatmeal or not, but I wore a short sleeve shirt all day yesterday. So I should have had a short sleeve shirt on. Anyway, so today it's cooler in here, but it's also raining outside. So that must have a lot to do with it because it's definitely cool in here. I have to wear a hoodie. Um, yeah, you can hear the rain. It's very sweet. It's like the caramel that I had yesterday was sweet. This does come across as sweeter. I don't know that I would necessarily say toffee, but toffee is just, it's just very, very, very sweet. That's what this tastes like. I do like this brand. I'm very pleased with this brand. I would totally get it again. Uh, don't have a problem with it at all. So tomorrow, um, I'm going to be trying the Tarani. And we'll see how the Tarani stacks up to these. It'll be interesting. Of course, these don't have any calories. The Tarani does. But we'll talk about that when we get there tomorrow. But this is delicious. So today, I'm going to be trying the Tarani. This is the sugar-free. It's Brown and Haley Almond Roca Syrup. If you've never had almond roca, you need to try it because it's it's wonderful stuff. Um, this does have a tab uh, on it, a pull tab, just like the other ones. Okay, and this is uh, this one does have calories. So the other ones, the other ones are in plastic bottles, and they they say zero calorie. This one is in an actual glass bottle, and this is, it says five calories for two tablespoons. It says perfect flavor for lattes, fraps, and iced coffees. With a perfect balance of nutty and buttery, this syrup is a delicious re recreation of the famous gold foil wrapped candy with none of the calories. 
Isn't that the truth? None of the colors. So it's www.tarani.com. They have tons of flavors. And I also told you the uh, this one was more expensive in the in the glass. So the uh, Mateo's was $4.99. The uh, Tarani was $7.49. Um, so, okay. The Mateo's had a... Um, a little pull thing uh, that you take off the top once you open it. This did not, but I'm still gonna use the same amount. I'm still gonna use a tablespoon because that worked with the other ones. Oh, wow. That smells like something that you would bake with. <laughs> oh, like I could put that behind my ears. <laughs> it's perfume. <laughs> it smells really good. Okay. It's nice. I don't know why it was more expensive, to be honest, than the Mateos, uh, um, other than the glass jar. But frankly, I would rather them, if it's going to save me some money, I would rather have the, the plastic. And then, too, you don't have to worry about it on the way home, getting it home and um, putting it wherever you have to put it to keep it safe. Um, I don't think most people worry about a plastic container. Um, I mean, I don't think they care that it's plastic. These, I didn't read this to you on the Mateos. It says, Mateos coffee syrup is the perfect addition to enjoy a delicious barista-inspired coffee at home and at work. Great to flavor all your drinks and will make your favorite beverage even better guilt-free. I'm really surprised, and it's www.mateoscoffee.com. Um, this is manufactured in Canada. I may have said that at the time. Um, I'm really surprised that they don't recommend other things on these bottles because not everybody's going to think uh, like me about putting this in oatmeal or um, just whatever else you're going to use. I don't even know what else you're going to use it for, but you know some people aren't going to think of that they're going to look at these and think well i don't drink coffee or i don't drink uh, uh lattes or whatever so they wouldn't even think about buying these whereas if you start thinking about them to put it other flavoring other things uh, they might sell a lot more of these than they even do I do think it adds a, um, a nice sweetness to it. I do taste um, the nuttiness that they're talking about. Um, the sweetness. But, to be fair, I really don't think it's any more sweet than the Mateos. I think the Mateos was just as good. I think it's just as good and just as sweet. And honestly, this almond roca reminds me a lot of the sweetness from the English toffee. Um, I like all three of these. I think they're all three nice, and I can go back and forth and 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 change them out, and and I'll enjoy them. Um, have something different uh, every single day, and that's probably what I'll do. I'll probably now that I've tried all three, I'll go back to the beginning and go to the caramel, just because that's my nature and i'll probably go back to the caramel and then i'll have the english toffee and then i'll do this one again um but as far as quality goes i really don't see why you're paying so much more for the uh the tarani than you are the mateo i think the quality is just as good 
they had a lot of flavors to choose from and so why not and it's it's in the the plastic bottle you don't have to worry about uh, like they had to uh, we bought these at home goods so the girl behind the counter had to wrap this in uh, paper uh, she she had to wrap it up because she wanted to make sure it didn't break whereas these you don't have to worry about that and like i said if tarani did that maybe it would save us some more money on those um so if you can get the same kind of flavors in the, the cheaper one i would just soon go for the the cheaper one but I am, I bought these specifically to put in oatmeal. So if you're using them for something else, I would be very curious to know something besides a drink. So, you know, I've heard, you know, the coffee, I've heard flavored water, I've heard stuff like that. But if you're actually adding them to other food besides oatmeal, then you'll have to let me know because I just, I don't have the imagination and I can't think, wonder about yogurt. Like if you were to buy just vanilla yogurt, would that be something that you could put in yogurt and it would work? Um, I would think it would, but I don't know. You'll have, you'll let me know if you've tried that before or what you've you've put these in. Tonight for dinner, I'm eating one of these market side chef salads. It's with uncured ham and turkey. And I know I've, I've shown these before during the video, but... Um, the purpose of these is to show you what we're eating for dinner and I tell you something that you do not see during this video is all the times that we have pizza <laughs> so if you go back in uh, the month of March I can't get any more of that plastic off there if you go back in the month of March we reviewed a lot of pizzas a lot of pizzas so um, when we do those pizza reviews, we do them one right after the other. And I, I've said that before. We'll, we'll eat, like if we start them on a uh, Monday night, we'll eat one Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And that's what we'll have for dinner every night. And so when I, when you see my plate with, um, half the pizza, there's, uh, Kevin eats half and I eat half. So I'm eating as much as him. Uh, but that is our dinner. Uh, that night unless I just do not like it so now there was like a Newman's own pizza that we had that was just absolutely horrible and I hated it and I didn't eat any more of that uh, because I just thought it was gross so <laughs> it's not worth the calories to me if it's no good but anyway all the ones we've had recently I want to say four at least seven we had we at least had them for like a week seven or eight um then uh, the, I've had that every single night, so I was in the mood tonight for something a little bit lighter. I actually bought two of these from the store, so I won't show you when I have it again, but I did buy two, so I will be having this, this exact same salad again. Uh, but, like I said, what you're not seeing in this video is all of those nights where I had pizza for dinner. Uh, but just know, I did. Um, anytime we do like a recipe video or or it's it's something that's like dinner dinner related, then that's what I'm having that night. And and I I did show like last month, I think when I made that uh, Snoop Dogg's spaghetti and meatballs, which was delicious. I did show it that. And it seems like we, I made something else, a recipe, and I showed that as well. But anyway, uh, this is tonight and probably dinner tomorrow night as well. We are eating canes for lunch. I was listening to the, somebody on the radio the other day, and she was saying how much she hates this clamshell packaging uh, from any restaurant because it's the styrofoam. And if you don't crack it immediately, it gets your food soggy. Hold the steam. Yeah, it'll hold in the steam. So you really, as you're going from the drive-thru, as you're leaving the drive-thru, Kevin always cracks it so that uh, so it doesn't uh, keep the steam in. So now I'm making an egg salad sandwich. So I use three eggs uh, for my egg salad sandwich. I use one and a half for one batch and one and a half eggs for the other batch. And I just dice the eggs up and I, um, I add relish and light mayonnaise 
and yellow mustard, just regular yellow mustard. And yellow mustard doesn't have any calories at all. And I, you're seeing me make this the first time I made it, but I have made this probably five or six times. And this is good. Uh, this one time that I'm making it is good for two meals because one bowl will make one uh, good size sandwich. So I had this a lot. I went, we went to the store and I did not realize that I, I already had eggs in the refrigerator. Normally I check. And this time I didn't check. And so I already had eggs in the refrigerator. And then I bought more eggs. And I, I thought, why in the world did I do this? And what am I going to do with all these eggs? And then I remembered, um, oh, I like egg salad a lot. And it is so easy to make. So I use like a tablespoon of the uh, dill relish. Now, if you buy dill relish, it does not have any calories. Sweet relish is going to have calories. And then I use a healthy squirt of that mustard. And then the mayonnaise, like I said, it's a light mayonnaise. So this is actually, I'll talk about the calories here. I talk about it uh, in the video. Uh, but this is actually pretty low calorie, especially when I am pairing it with 35 calorie bread. Uh, you don't even have to have bread with it, though. I mean, you could eat it straight out of the container if you wanted to. I thought before, too, some people probably uh, would put this on crackers. Um, I don't know what else you would put it on. Or toast. So like if you wanted to toast a piece of bread, I think that would be good, too. And then you could only you would only have to use like one piece of bread and not use two. Uh, but for me, two slices is perfect. And it really does fill me up. And today is my lucky day because I get the hill of the bread. I'm just starting a new loaf. And the hill is my favorite. This is 35 calorie Heiner's 35 calorie white bread. Um, I like it and I like that it's low calorie. If you're wondering about the calories for this, um, it's one and a half eggs. An egg is 70 calories. So for the egg, it's 105 calories. Because I used dill relish, that's no calories. Um, so uh, if you buy sweet relish, you will, you will have calories. But dill relish doesn't have any. So no calories for that. The uh, mustard has no calories. Yellow mustard, just regular yellow mustard has no calories. The mayonnaise, I only used a tablespoon. So... It was 35 calories because I used uh, the light mayonnaise. And then the bread for two slices of bread is 70 calories. So this sandwich is 210 calories total. And I do, um, you can put more or less mayonnaise or mustard if you want. I like mustard, so I, frankly, I like this. Kevin would say for him, less uh, mustard, more mayonnaise. But for me, that's perfect.